So I'm fully aware that this might land up being a fail. I mean, what were they thinking? Is it worth it? The price though. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm particularly excited about for various, various reasons. I know you've already seen the thumbnail. I know you've already seen the title. You probably already know what the video is about. But there are reasons for you to stay, stick around, grab some chai and watch this video because Honestly, I think this is going to be really, really interesting. You guys already know that I have been a long time loyal follower of Dyson. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, okay, I've loved everything. I've loved most things. If you've seen my very, very detailed air app review, uh, I will link it in for you guys. If you haven't, I gave you a very thorough breakdown of the pros as well as the cons. Just a reminder or in case you're new over here, you're on Anam's channel, you're on what went where, just because I get something in PR, does not mean I'm gonna hold back with giving a full, fledged, honest review. In today's video, you already know this, so let me just do a little bit of a reveal. I'm sure you've seen it all over social media already by now. We have the very, very stylish Dyson Coral. Okay, can I just say it took me like saying it three times to be like Coral, Coral, Coral. It's Coral, okay? I've double checked this, I've triple checked this. It's the Dyson Coral. So, before we really dive into the demo of this video, I want to just kind of get the claims out of the way. The claims are the things that the brand claims the product does. Um, the claims with Dyson are always really, really interesting because they focus so much on technology. Again, if you have been a long time follower of mine, you know that I love geeking out on those details. And I don't hold back in sharing those with you simply because you may not necessarily love those details, but it's still information for me to share with you. Like I've loved talking about the V9 and the V11 engines in the past from Dyson. I love getting into formulations for lipsticks. I love talking about textures, wear tests. So similarly, I just kind of want to get those claims out of the way. Claim number one that I definitely want to put out here is that this product is meant to reduce hair damage by up to 50%, which is quite a lot if you ask me. Like as someone who has struggled with damaged hair so severely since just Jan 2020, apart from the fact that I've had colored hair for so long, I style my hair so often, if there is something that's going to do the job, keywords there and help protect my hair from damage then of course that is a huge huge advantage i have mentioned this in the previous video so i should say this here just to give you context as much as i love the concept of the air wrap and while doing it it was absolutely phenomenal and easy and great it did not last all day for me or it did not go even over to the second day for me a lot of times and that to me was the struggle so the number one thing i'm personally really excited to see is whether when I straighten my hair with this or I just style my hair with the Dyson Coral in general, is it going to last me long? That is something I'm going to be really like a strict teacher about testing because if I'm going to spend time, I know that this is going to save me time and we'll come to that claim next maybe. Um, but I know that if I'm going to spend a certain amount of time styling my hair, I would want for it to last all day. Maybe go over to the next couple of days also, depends. Maybe go until my next hair wash. It's not too much to ask for, especially when there is a price attached to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the exact MRP of the product in India over here so you guys can take a look at that. I know that Dyson is not an affordable brand in India, but in my opinion, I have always maintained that their products and the quality have always been so great most times. That one exception, I will put out there, I will be honest, that one exception was there. But I'm really hoping that this is not an exception and I've seen demos firsthand. I actually spent just literally when I'm filming this video, the day I'm filming this video, I spent this afternoon getting a demo from the brand themselves, uh, from a few representatives and hairstylists who basically told us, uh, me along with a few other influencers as well, on a video call on how to use it, how it works and how you can sort of do various things with your with this on your hair so um i've got the damage wala claim out of the way the other claim that i want to tell you about is that this product basically comes with flexible plates and typically i don't know if you've ever realized this but when you're straightening your hair um you will see that the heat levels across your your each strand of hair or different sections of your hair could vary 
from one to another um, getting slightly technical but then that's me with this particular product the plates are such that they actually go ahead and evenly distribute the tension evenly distribute that heat across the each like each strand of your hair which is really great it means that you can get that even amount of heat at a lower temperature all across your hair which again also works of course with reducing the amount of damage and amount of heat you're exposing your um, your hair to not a claim but a feature that i definitely want to highlight is that with a 14 minute charge and i'm going to come to charge in a second you can get up to 90 percent of your dyson corral charged and if you have a hundred percent full charge in your equipment then you can use it non-stop for around 30 to 35 minutes the charge and the you know all of that reminds me of course in case you haven't already noticed this is a fully wireless device which is really great because sometimes when you're like styling your hair and like you know the wires come in the way i know i'm doing like a little garba dance right now but why not the wire basically getting into the way can be really annoying sometimes and this is a huge 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 ups like major points for this by itself however if you do want to continue like you're doing something really detailed with your hair and you do want to continue using the equipment beyond 30 to 35 minutes of course you can go ahead and just connect it to the cable right there the magnetic cable is really really easy to work with so can you hear that deep one sec i'll do it again that sound that basically means it's connected it's a really easy to use magnetic thing over here and it basically comes along with this really fancy charging uh, pod so you can leave it to charge and then use it wireless if that's what you want or you can go ahead and use it with the wire whatever floats your boat also i love the color i think what i definitely should get into right now before i get into demo is show you what the device literally looks like up close so i'm gonna just put this in really close and show you what the dyson corral looks like this is what it is over here all pretty beautiful you have a little bit of branding over here the lines that you're seeing are basically it's on both sides it's basically to warn you that this is the area beyond the line um, which is going to get warm which is going to get hot see this is the attention to detail with Dyson that I really love and appreciate and that to me as someone who like looks at all of these little little details it just really stands out to me that this is a brand that does it consistently consistently being the keyword here again so we're looking at it up close and you see this little silver buttonish thing over here i'm basically going to pull it over up with the help of which it unclasps it basically reveals itself of course when you look closer over here you're also going to find the oled screen you're going to find plus minus for temperature adjustments and of course the beautiful and very essential power button which i'm going to snap on right now and the battery has popped up it's showing me that i have full battery over here and it's also telling me to increase the temperature by beeping that plus sign which is what i'm going to do so i'm going to be on 165 degrees which is the lowest that there is i'm kind of going to leave it there so if you look closely you see that power sign uh, sort of blinking with the lights going on and off okay and that little sound with the tick mark on the screen that you're seeing is telling us that the device is ready 165 degrees it's also telling me what temperature we're at um, and my bad hair day which I have been having today for a fact is about to turn hopefully into a good one so now let's dive right into this video this has been a really long intro but I had to get all of that information out there let's dive into this demo Okay, my lioness's mane of sorts is out there. It's open. I'm about to start. I should take my earrings off actually to just work with this. I have the Dyson here and I'm going to start with the left side so that we get a good understanding um, and we can hopefully compare the two sides once I finished one section. One of the points I completely forgot to mention earlier on, by the way, in case you're wondering, like it's a battery operated device. Ooh. That went slick really fast, really easily. One of the things I completely forgot to mention earlier, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is a battery operated device, which means that if you're traveling, when you're traveling, 
post this entire situation we're all in right now you can't check this into your check-in baggage which basically means if you want to travel with it you're going to have to take out the battery obviously you can't really pull out the batteries of a device like this so it actually comes along with a little uh, airplane thing on this side which you pull the plug out of what this essentially does is that it deactivates the battery so like i said i really appreciate that they have thought every single thing through which also reminds me i should show you it comes along with this little pouch which is a really nice uh, velvet pouch and inside the pouch which is what i will obviously use to store things in it also has i can't take it out because it's stitched into the pouch it basically has this little airplane uh, sticker thing so the pin that you're seeing that i will be pulling out when i travel goes into that section of the pouch um, when i'm traveling so that the pin doesn't get ruptured when it's pulled out for the battery deactivation the details see that's what i mean the details okay i can't believe i managed to do this so quickly um, while I take a second to just take a look at this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power back off. One of the things I'm personally fascinated with is this. You put the power off, it's gone off, you can immediately close it and you can um, lock it in. However, if just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to like leave it open so you can see. Can you see the power button blinking just a little bit? This means that the device is still in process of cooling down. And basically what's going to happen is once it's completely cooled down, the blinking will stop and it will go into complete basically radio silence, which is really, really cool. These are the little, little things that I appreciate about devices, about electronics, because I feel like if you have the technology or you're building the technology for it, um, of course, there's going to be a price attached to it. We'll come to that right at the end because I want to figure the worth it, the advantages, and disadvantages and all of that once I use this through the course of this video. And you know that if I think of something that's not worth it or that's um, a bit much, I'm just going to go and put this back on for the other side. Um, you know, I will tell you if I also think of those kind of things. Okay, we're just going to go over and repeat the exact same level of straightening to the other side. I do want to kind of take a second over here and say the weight of this thing. It is definitely heavier than a lot of straighteners I've tried out there. It's not heavy, but it's heavier. So I'm just putting a little comparative scale over here. But then of course, keep in mind that if it's going to be battery operated, it needs to carry the batteries within it. It also needs to carry all of this uh, technology that they've put inside the plates, um, which help a protect your hair, reduce damage. And at the same time, they have that whole flexible plate system over here, which basically means that the heat is evening out across my hair. So typically what tends to happen is when we iron our hair, we tend to put a lot more pressure, rather a lot more heat. Um, a lot of the tension goes towards the middle of the hair and then goes all the way down with it, which is why we have so many like drier ends, split ends and things like that. In this particular case, I feel like since the heat is getting distributed evenly and when I say that, I'm literally touching my hair and my hair feels the same all across. Sometimes when I am straightening my hair out with my usual straighteners or even with a tongue, I can feel some parts hotter than the other and I, I think you should be able to relate to that because that's typically how most of your hair equipment works. But in this case, my hair literally feels warm and fuzzy on all sides. Okay, I really do like this straightened look. And I really like how easy it was getting here. I also like how it's taken the shape of the lower end towards the outside with so much ease. Like I didn't have to like struggle. I feel like that has something to do with the shape of the device in itself. Of course, having the curves that it does, I'm going to show you from this perspective. So you get a proper idea of what I'm saying. I know I have short hair right now and I miss my long hair. Let's not go there. But I feel like i want to try something do you think i haven't curled my hair since i've gotten short hair like with a tongue but i feel like i want to just give this a whirl and see how it might do if i just attempt a little bit of curling in my hair i think we should just try that just just for the sake of really putting it to the test okay so what i'm gonna do is just try one section first because i'm fully aware that this might land up being a fail because my hair is really short so i know i'm really pushing it but I want to try. Not bad at all. Oh my 
god that was my first attempt guys i unboxed this like 3 hours ago this is amazing okay wait now i'm just for kicks now i'm just tempted to go all the way through my hair and see how it does um excuse me you are making me love my short hair i mean see i can fully turn this upside down because literally there is no wire i can't imagine doing this with something otherwise this is completely wireless and that is an advantage especially in this particular case 12 seconds later okay and with that we've come towards the end of this video i am not going to end this video without doing a proper summary of some of my thoughts some pros some cons and just kind of give you a little bit of a gist of what i think of this device so far right keep in mind that this is a first impressions of course i am going to continue that in itself is a little bit of a mini um testimony to my experience i am going to continue to use this and uh, i'm going to tell you exactly what i think of it right now from all perspectives that i can think of So number one, the MRP on the Dyson India website for this is thirty six thousand nine hundred, which is almost thirty seven thousand rupees. Um, I do I think that's a lot for a hair straightener. Of course, it means that it's not a run of the mill regular hair straightener. It means it is a luxury device. Secondly, what was my experience using it? As you could see in this video, my experience with this the first time in itself. was really really great it was super easy to use unlike the air app i did not have a tough time figuring this out at all it also felt like a regular hair straightener so my hope is that the hairstyle does stay for a lot longer i am going to go ahead and put a little bit of an insert here to tell you how long the hairstyle actually lasted me even with the air app because i don't want to sound like i'm bashing it it was a really great It was really great technology, and there was really great science behind it, and I loved the concept of it. But keeping in mind the humid tropical conditions of India, of Bombay, especially where I live, of Mumbai, I didn't really feel like it stayed. My hairstyle stayed, and that was my only and biggest complaint with that equipment. Um, with this particular one, you'll know by now how long it lasted for. In terms of weight, I don't want to put it down as a con at all because it is light. Like it is light in general, but it's not as light as other hair irons out there. So I'm leaving a little bit of a subjective uh, comparison, which may not be fair entirely because it's not like this is heavy. So I really don't want to make it sound like it is. Um, but I'm just comparing it for the sake of a regular hair straightener over there. But then a regular hair straightener over there is not going to protect your hair from damage up to 50% which is a huge 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 claim for this. So I guess what I want to say is that if you're someone who like for me I have really bad hair right now. I mean it's in recovery but I've had really bad hair this year you guys know that. For me a device like this and equipment like this is very worth it despite the price tag because a i face the camera a lot it is my job and also please keep in mind uh, my hair was in really 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 bad condition if you're someone who barely ever styles your hair just because i'm putting a review out there i'm not trying to tell you guys you must go and buy it i'm telling you that if you're looking for something with these features you want something that you can use wireless you want something that looks great you want something that will protect your hair also style your hair and you are you have the budget to go ahead and spend almost 37000 rupees on it then yes please go buy this i always kind of want to put it out there that just because i do reviews for so many different things on my channel doesn't mean i'm pushing them down your throats i'm here to just give you a real real on any product or any makeup item that i currently have in use so that if you're thinking of going and buying it this review comes in helpful for you so i think i've kind of answered my own last question is it worth it it's subjective for me this is very very worth it i can see myself reaching for this very often also let's just admit this looks really cool resting on the little charging pod and all of that i mean it's just something that i can see looking really good on my vanity and i don't want to say that like saying oh it's beautiful it's also really really good like women we're beautiful but we're also full of more than just up plain on the face beauty you know what i mean it is beautiful it does have a lot going for it 
um, but it's also really really high on quality and it's been really easy to work with I'm not gonna lie if you have any specific questions about the Dyson Coral please go ahead and tell me in the comments one of the most popular type of videos that I've seen about the tool out there is that people are comparing it like half with this and half with another straightener if you are someone who wants me to try that particular style of video out please tell me in the comments I'm open to it I'm a hundred percent open to it I compare so many different things over here on my channel and this can be one of them which comments of course I'm going to go ahead and give you the where fam comment shout out for the day which goes to Projecta Ranade please always talk to me in the comments because I'm always liking having reading and responding to all of your comments I always take a couple of minutes out every single day and multiple times a day to actually respond to your comments so please go ahead and hit like on this video subscribe to my channel turn those bell notifications on so you can keep coming back for all of the stuff I have in store for you lots of reviews some like like these some that actually don't pan out that well as well I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link of the products I regret buying or basically my anti haul playlist over here so you can definitely go ahead and check that out thank you so much for watching you guys I love you all so much see you in the next one bye guys